This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, their professional render service. Hey guys, time to UV this guy. All right, so we're gonna right click the object mode. Oops, object mode, there we go. We're gonna go to UV and we're gonna select cylindrical mapping, which makes sense for an object like this. There we go. And then we're gonna go and see what we got. We're gonna go to UV and UV editor, and this is what we have so far. Now, I want to have a distinction between the main body, which uh, I will use a label for, and then the top and bottom, which will be metal, and then the cap on top, which will be plastic, okay? So let's see what we can separate here. So I'm gonna start with my cap. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna right click at an edge. Let's go in beneath here. And I'm gonna select that edge right there and I'm going to go to polygons and uh, cut UV edges okay so now if I right click and get a shell I should have separate shells and I do this is my cap so I'm gonna hit W to move that up this uh, seems to be the top here which is uh, good that already seems to be cut this is my main label and this is my top uh, bottom sorry all right, so let's see what we got. This uh, section looks pretty decent. This one, we're gonna go to unfold, which will look somewhat odd. This one, we'll do the same, which will look odd as well. We'll need to clean that up. And then we've got this thing down here, and we'll hit G to do the same, okay? I'm gonna right click at a shell. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna take this guy which is my top section here. And for that one, I want another cut because I want the top to be a flat surface. So I'm gonna right click, go to edge again. And I'm just gonna go in here, hit F to zoom in, not that much. And there we go, we selected that top edge. We're gonna go to cut the UV edges. So now if I go to shell, I have this part, I got this part, that's a top. So let's start with that one first. I have to zoom in. I'm gonna go to uh, unfold. And I moved it over here somewhere. There we go. And uh, what I'll do is I'll turn this on so you guys can see it better. Oh, yeah, there we go, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click at an edge. I'm gonna drag select these edges and go to uh, move and sew. And then we'll do that again. And again. And again. And then we're gonna right click at a shell. We're gonna go to unfold again. And we have a perfect, nice round top surface, okay? Then let's see what's next. This is our side here. We're gonna go to uh, unfold. Let's see if that looks somewhat decent or not. Now we got that issue on the side here. We want that to be separate as well. So I'm gonna right click at an edge. And Come on. I don't want to do that manually, but it looks like I don't really have a choice. Or for wireframe mode, so I can just check that. Seems to be okay. Hit five to go back. I'm gonna go to uh, cut, cut UV edges. Now I'm gonna go to shell, and there you go. So I should be able to go to unfold. 
All right. So this, this, and this, that's my button on top. Okay, so if I select these three, there you go. All right, so what's next? Uh, let's see, we got the top section here. And we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, unfold. Seems to be completely unfolded, which is good. We're gonna have to zoom in. We're gonna right click at the edge again. Take these edges and go to move and sew. Looks like we have an edge too much selected. So let's go a bit slower. We're gonna right click at a shell. We're gonna go to unfold again. Well, let's have a look. Pretty decent. We'll stitch this up, right click at an edge. And we're gonna go to move and sew edges. G to repeat. Repeat that as well. That one as well. And then we have some issues here. Try to get in nice and close. Okay, so we need to select these edges, hit G. And then we'll select this as well. We'll right click at a shell again. And then we'll go to unfold again. And that should help. Looks like it's not quite there yet. So we're going to move and sew that. Okay. So that seems to be the issue. There seems to be a connected edge. Now this is an extremely minute detail. It's in the bottom of the little cap here. We're not going to see it. So I'm not going to spend more time on that. I'm happy with this so far as this gives us our main body. Okay. So we've got this guy down here which seems to be the bottom part of it anyway. So again, we're gonna to go to shell. Let's go to unfold. We'll right click and go to edge, drag select these edges and go to uh, move and sew. Okay, getting better. Shell again and let's go to unfold again. Yeah, it should look a bit better. And then we need to attach this guy. So we're gonna go to edge, select one of those outer edges and go to move and sew. And that thing should attach, but we'll see. We'll select both of these and move and sew. They should connect up. I'm not quite sure why not. Let's do it differently. I'm going to select this and let's go to uh, unfold. There we go. Okay. And now that we have both of these, that's the outer ring. Yeah, there we go. So this guy should be inside this one. Not quite sure why they're not connected. But let's see if we can fix that. Just checking the orientation here. Okay. Well, as before, this has basically no consequence. First of all, it's the bottom of our can. Second, these two together form the bottom of our can and they're all exactly the same identical material. So we should be good, okay? So now that we have all that, I'm gonna drag select all of this and I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, layout, where we go. 
layout. Okay, which will move everything into our zero to one space. And now I need to be clear on the orientation. So what is what? Okay. Now I know that this is my top part. So it's going to be all the same material. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller by hitting R. I'm going to hit W and I'll move it over here. So I know that that's a top. Okay. Let's see. This is the top of my plastic, the cap. Going to be very small. So I can make that small as well. Hit W, move that over here. Now I know that this is the other part. So I can move that up here. This is the bottom. I can scale that down somewhat. Bring that in here. This is the inner circle of that bottom part. So let's hit R and scale it in a bit. Yeah. And then what's that? That's that little section up here. So we basically now have a lot of room to make this slightly bigger. And we need to, to make sure that the top is actually the top here. So I'm going to right click and go to face. And you can see as I select one of these faces, it's a top there. Okay. So this uh, concludes our UV part. And next we're going to go into texturing. So for that, what I need to do is I need to take a snapshot of the UV. So I'm going to go up to uh, polygons. We're going to go to UV snapshot. I'm going to make this a 2K map. So 2048 by 2048. I want this to be saved on my desktop. And I'll call this snap UV and hit save. Okay. That's all good. All good. I want this to be a JPEG file. And the zero to one is my UV space, which is this area. So I'm going to hit OK. Let's see. Oh, it's not selected. Hang on. Drag select. Hit OK. There we go. All right. So that's the UV part. Time to get into texturing. Here we go. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.